I want to take you back to 1989 and a young Junkion was going to the movie theater to watch something that he was so excited to see. As a young boy, he loved comic books, especially superhero comic books. One of his favorites was Batman. This version was a dark and gritty take on his superhero that he never had seen before. But there was something in that, which again is synonymous with Batman, that he just fell in love with. And that was the Batmobile. And uh, he always wanted to have a version of it to play with his action figures. Fast forward to 2023 and Todd McFarlane finally fulfilled that wish. The good news is that we had it. The bad news is there were some inaccuracies with the mold, which kind of boggled the toy community as well. So like always, that community stepped up and said, we're going to make these corrections. Ramen Toys decided we're going to actually create some upgrade kits. And that was called the CAG set or canopy and guns. And in my hand, we had the CAG set. And we're gonna see today if waiting a year for Ramen Toys to release this CAG set was worth it for me. And let's get on the bench here and start messing with the Batmobile and the Ramen Toy CAG set here on Junkie on Crafts and Builds. As I was saying in the beginning, the McFarlane Batmobile is really a gorgeous toy um, in regards to just the size and the overall sculpt really is reminiscent of the 89 movie. What you see here is the second version or the gold label version that came out in September of 2023. And the main thing that comes out of like this gold label one is that it came as a two pack with a version of Michael Keaton's Batman. What you see here is what you get. You only get a stand, no interchangeable hands or anything, but the sculpt in of itself for McFarlane is pretty good. The likeness for Batman and Michael Keaton is really nice. Um, the matte black bodysuit is looking really good and the articulation for McFarlane is not bad. In and of itself, it's a really good representation of the figure. If you did want to go into a more higher end uh, version of the character. Everything about this Batmobile screams nostalgia for the most part. There are some inaccuracies that was more prevalent on the first release than on this one. It said the first release was a glossy black, but what was one of the glaring issues was the canopy was a different color than the uh, main body. So that kind of really struck a chord with the fans in wondering what he was thinking. Also, the overall design of the canopy is made with larger windows so that you can see the toy inside, which is not truly accurate to the depiction of the vehicle in the Batman films. Another glaring uh, missing item in here were the guns that popped up out of the out of the body of the vehicle. And because of these inaccuracies, like I was saying, the toy community came around and saying we're going to try to fix these things. One of the companies was Ramen Toy, and Ace talked a lot about the the CAG set was going to fix a lot of these inaccuracies and also enhance the Batmobile by providing a weapon set. The original pre-orders came up around July of 2023 for a price of $19.89, which was very on the nose for, uh, for this version of the vehicle. He was providing two versions for each version of the uh, Batmobile. Rolling into 2024, it was the anticipation that it was going to come out in the beginning of the year, but there were some delays in regards to, again, some of the crafting and fit and tolerances for the CAG set. And I have to applaud uh, Ace for being as transparent as he can be. Finally, around mid-March, we got the update saying that the CAG set was coming and I received mine at the end of April. But we had the CAG set here and it came in this very simple box. There's two versions, like I said, the gloss version and the matte version. So let's just go ahead and open up this box. All right, so inside we have the three pieces. We have the upgraded uh, canopy and two sets of guns, as well as two gas caps. Before we get started with the upgrade, I wanna kinda of show you how this McFarland Batman fits inside here with the original Batmobile canopy. So it's not the most graceful looking thing here, but Keaton does sit into it fairly well. And then we just slide the canopy back in. And there we go. So that's kind of how he looks inside the Batmobile with the original 
So again, the windows were made large so you can actually see the figure. So we're gonna fix that. So let's not waste any time. Let's go through and swap out these canopies. So the first step in removing the canopy and replacing it is to go to the underside of the Batmobile. And there are 11 screws that hold the shell together. So we're gonna go ahead and take those apart. Next, we need to remove the box that holds the seat and everything. And there are three screws here, here, and here that we will have to remove as well. And now with the screws out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the seat itself. So there you can see the little uh, base <laughs> seat and controls. All that's left now is seeing the inside here. And what we're gonna do is work on this piece right here, which is the spring-loaded section for the canopy itself. And note how the position of it is. These two little nubs hold it in place and we have the spring at the bottom. So that simply raises out. Next, to release the canopy, we're just gonna push there and it slides right out. Note the two uh, wheels or guides here. We'll slide along here onto this. So we're just gonna kind of slightly push in and push the canopy out. So far, super easy. So before we do the installation of the new CAG canopy, I just wanna take a moment and put both these two side by side to really show off the differences. Um, this is the original McFarland canopy, and this is the CAG set. And I think it's pretty obvious what the differences are. Like I said, the windows here are much larger and the top part of the roof is much smaller. Not really accurate to the film version of the vehicle at all. So that's where Ace and company have come in and created a much slimmer profile with a longer roof and much more narrow tinted glass. Um, where this is also a clear plastic. This is the main attraction, in my opinion, for the set. Some things to remember before we put the canopy in and put this Batmobile back together, there are two more pieces to this that are kind of loose and are basically fitting in with, with friction. One is the console. It just sits in these two notches. The second item is the actual activation button to release the canopy. That just sits in there, but it, you can see here there's a groove on the one side and on the other that matches the groove uh, cut into the plastic for the vehicle. So all we're gonna do now is go and do the opposite of what we did to get the canopy out. And that's to slide it back in and lock it in place using the little notch up front here, just like that, okay? So we have our guides. We gotta make sure our guides are in line here. So now we're gonna put our uh, snap piece back into place. We'll put our seat back in and screw that in. All right, guys, now that we put the screws back into place and having the seat in position, let's make sure that everything works as it should. So there's a profile of the new Batmobile canopy from Ramen Toy, and man, that looks good, but we'll get into that more. Right now, let's check the main feature, which is pressing this button to see if it unlocks the canopy. Perfect. And the tolerance, it seals up nice and flush with the rest of the body. And now we have the body back in place. And man, I mean, some people might not notice the difference right off the bat, but <laughs> off the bat, funny. Um, but really, it the change just in the canopy creates a whole new profile for this vehicle. And it really does look good, especially with that tinted plastic for the windows now really creates that darker sil silhouette. All right, we got McFarland's Batman in. Let's close the canopy and see the difference. Yeah, this was definitely worth the time and wait for this. That new canopy just makes this thing look amazing. But we're not done yet because this is the CAG set, which means canopy and guns. Here is a close up of the CAG set gun mount. Again, this is all one piece, um, minus the, the bullets. That is a separate piece, which should be glued in. You can see it's kind of just slits into this little pod here at the bottom. And we have these indentations that are gonna meet up with parts of the body. So let's just go ahead and plug that in. But there are the gun placements for the Batmobile. Um, there are holes in the front of the barrels for blast effects. As cool as it is to have weapons, I'm not sure I am totally cool with these uh, gun pods. Again, the, the 
The platform seems a little thick, sits a little high. Um, the other issue is, at least with this set, while it does sit really flush up top, we had these little gaps here towards the back. Um, and that is on both sides. Here you can definitely see where that little part comes in where, you know, you press it down all the way as much as you can, but it's still gonna show up a little bit there. So yeah, we, at least we have weapons now for the Batmobile. You can still go forward. I was getting ready to say it was, it was not gonna work. The final items in this CAG set are a pair of gas caps. And they're simply plastic with a, with a matte silver paint and a 3M sticker tape on the back. And that's gonna go on the sides of the Batmobile. And I aligned it the best way I could, but there we go. And here's the CAG set fully installed. So let me get my real 89 Batman. And here is the Batmobile with my Nezco 1989 Batman. With a custom cape from Dark Father Customs, um, this just really sets everything for me. This is my definitive version. It's pretty easy to see that overall the main focus of this was the canopy and the corrections that Raman Toys put in place to make this Batmobile look more uh, reminiscent of the 89 movies. The gun emplacements are a nice touch. A little bit of fit and finish, but really the question is, is this worth your time? Is it worth the wait to ship from overseas? And to me, I think it was time well spent. And Ace and Ramen Toys knocked it out of the park. You couldn't beat it for 20 bucks. And it really makes this statement piece stand out a little bit more. So that's pretty much everything for the video, everyone. Um, real easy set to put together. Highly recommend it. Again, I thank you guys all the time. And I will continue to thank you for watching my videos, liking, commenting, sharing it out. And if I earned your subscription, I am truly grateful for that. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you then.